All right, back on the uh, frame or trimming out this open doorway. Last video, I just had the trim on this side done. Painted this side. Not too bad, but I've also I used MDF board for the inside jam. Four by eight sheet was. 32 dollars I think to buy one by eight because the one by six wasn't wide enough I'd have had to cut down a one by eight anyway they were like 10 bucks a piece so I figured I could use MDF rip it down to whatever thickness I needed it's smooth we have no grain in it. I'll drive these finish nails in. Caulk that and we'll paint it. It should take paint pretty well. And now I got at least half a sheet of MDF I can use somewhere else. But now I'm going to move to uh, this side. Same process. I set my trim against the wall here flushed it out and made a mark drop that mark down and now I'm going to cut it with the uh, the Dremel and I'll trim this side out so not a hard process I kind of show you what I'll do I don't have a cameraman so it's hard to hold this and cut and do all that but I'll show you the Dremel which I used same on the other side and make this cut on the trim so this is the Dremel multi max this guy's been a handy little dude now if I can get it open Dremel multi max mm20 I can't remember if it came with all these flush cut blades or not but there's different ones. Some it's about worn out. So you can get them for wood and drywall and I don't know what else. Here's a rounded cutting blade. That one's been used a bunch. But I'm gonna use the one that's on it now. Still has a little life. Yeah, and these also has a sanding disc pad you can put on it. For now, I'm going to use this one. Still got a little bit of teeth on it. It'll cut through that trim really good. I'll get it cut and we'll resume and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. I don't know how well you can see this but this thing has adjustable setting different rpms so i'm going to use it on its high setting which is a 10 and cut right along the line
Cut that talk. Piece of this trim, and I didn't get all the way through. So I'm just going to use the drill and complete that cut. That'll be good. Cut it properly. Measured and cut. Here's the trim piece. This will be pretty good because there's a Tiny bit of a reveal on this side. So it'll match over here. I can bring it out a little. And fill the gap with caulk over here, but. So I'll get a length. Uh oh. I'll just make a mark with a pencil right here and then go make my cut. And I always make a mark in the direction of my cut. Because what's on the wall, you know exactly which way you're going. By the time you get it to your saw, you could have flipped it around every which way and forget which way you're cutting the angle. So this kind of helps. All right, I got both sides cut. This will push over. I've got one nail in the center. So I can move this around. I'm gonna take a measurement up top. Cut that piece, and then I'm gonna leave these loose till I get the top piece on. That way I can move it ever so slightly to adjust it, get it right. So I'm gonna cut it, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so there's the top piece. None of this is nailed yet. Probably nail this side. And then I'll show you how we can move this to get everything lined up properly. Okay, so I got this side. It's tacked in. I don't have them driven in all the way. So it lines up pretty good. That all kind of chipped that a little bit. It'll be fine after caulk and paint. But on this side, it's still loose. But you can see I can, all I'm doing is just moving this in. And squeeze this in until it lines up. And then I'll nail it. So if I had nailed these two, this one and that one, all the way up top, and then this was off by fraction, I wouldn't have no room to adjust because they're already nailed. 
So that'll be it for now. I'll show you the finished product later. Like and subscribe.